one. Hey guys, it's GameRickRick here. I'm back to making some videos of how to have fun in the single player mode of The Crafting Dead. Uh, my, or it has been updated or changed back to allow uh, for single player gameplay again, which I'm very happy about. And let me go ahead and get out of cheat mode here. What I did basically is <coughs> I put it into game mode 1 uh, in order to just sort of find an area that looks like it's promising in terms of uh, structures that were generated. That one actually is one that I kind of uh, modified myself. Uh, this is actually my second life here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, things didn't go real well, so I just... Uh, found another little spot over here that's got some goodies hopefully hey, there we go that's what we need a weapon oh hey a mac 10 probably won't have any ammo for it and a med pack this is a good start here okay gotta have you want to have some sort of bandages uh, a melee weapon at a minimum and some food and ideally water and then your uh, your basics are covered Let's see if I can get in here. My hazmat suit. Uh, I'm put this on. Let's see. Okay, got the hazmat suit. Oh, now these are something new. Sort of ghost or something. Okay, good. I was able to kill it. Those are like one of the tougher, more aggressive zombie types. <coughs> now, up another one. Really? Am I gonna die? All right, good thing I had that med pack. All right, let me search around here. There are different strength of zombies I've noticed now. You've got um, slower, tougher ones and light, faster, weaker ones, it seems like. And then there's just like kind of the generic ones. So, adds a little more variety to like their behavior. Like he's probably a weaker one. Yeah, because he's fast. But what's in here? Hopefully there's something good up here. Oh crap. I may have already read this in my first life. I haven't played in a while, but now you guys are probably like armored. Yeah. yeah, you take about three hits. Alright, I'm looking for buildings that I can scavenge some goodies from. That's really what this game mode's about. Trying to survive. Try to get your uh your levels up. What? Oh, there's a boat over there? No, that's not a boat, is it? Is it really? Oh no, it just happened to, I think, look like a boat. Oh crap. Oh, from the distance that looked like a pirate ship or something. Crowbar is still a pretty effective weapon here. Which that sucks. Alright, I'm gonna see this wrecked house if there's anything. Over here, I don't think there is. Oh man, I'm already hungry. Oh, now this is one of the other additions here. All right, I got a wrench. You get random uh, loot drops occasionally from the zombies, which that makes a huge difference. That's really nice. Uh, you get these random goodie boxes. So, overall, I'd have to say I, I like, uh, so far, a lot of what has been done to make the single player more fun again. Make it possible, even. Because it wasn't possible for quite a while. I think it was in the, uh, the aftermath. Oh, 
four of them, really? Take my loot and run. Bravely run away, away. Okay, I think I lost him. All right. I'm pissed away with some ammo. Get your iron, uh, iron scopes, aim down scopes. Man, he has a tough one. Oh, hey, there's like a prison over here. Those are usually good for some pretty good loot. Maybe I should check this ruined building over here first, though. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies over there by the prison. I don't think I'm bleeding. Hey, let me clean that rag.